Hello, my we goodness. We have a nice boat ride. I hope. What do we just see here? Yeah. <laughs> ride the beast. Look at that. Look there. Ride the beast. That's apparently a real wild ride. The chief in front. Lucky it's a nice day. Beautiful, isn't it?
Special member of the Green Glass Atrium, Holy Winter Garden. Do not once again the arts and leisure section. What? Will be our time. That might be something. See that green? Coming up this week, there usually is. Where is that green? Spinnaker on the right hand side. Where is that? Is that if the uh, uh, site gives way to a huge park to the south on the right? Liberty State Park. The massive gray building you see at the moment on our far right. Is it the Liberty State Park? The massive gray building you see at the moment on our far right. To the west, looking around the cathedral like, is a fine museum, especially when the kids find the uh, Liberty Hall of Science. We're going to be leaving the uh, Upper Bay, maybe entering the, uh, I mean, we're leaving the Hudson River entry the Upper Bay. Left hand side, that octagonal building, one of our newer museums that is well worth presenting to the museum of the Jewish experience. South of it, a continuing battery park, we have the uh, pier with the green roof, the joining clock tower, Pier A. That's still closed to the public, that's going to be reopened as a restaurant complex. Not only uh, Dover, it's happening to be the uh, Dover Queen Anne, I think that helps. Anyway, his name was Lord Cornsburg. Anyway, he's the first recorded dresser, cross dresser, that I've ever heard of in history. And uh, then they found some out of there and turned it into a military base, primarily because of the location. And it became home for the Coast Guard for years. They pulled out of there uh, approximately six years ago. It is now virtually empty, and its ultimate fate is still there. Decided that a gap wouldn't be like that for that one. Uh, I do I don't during his years of operation, he was a citizen of the United States. In other words, one out of every four Americans who trace our origin in the state to Ellis Island. That is the only thing that we have to do with the United States. Like the 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 and a war yeah. memorial suspension bridge. <laughs> Through the Baron's uh, Honor Bridge. Wall of Day, Ryan Harbor. Now we're going to over to Staten Island. To the south of Staten Island, here on Staten Island. Coming up on our right hand side, it's about five minutes. Yeah, maybe we're going to be looking at the there's no point in these uh, uh, speed bumps. Uh, I don't remember going there. You walk upstairs for three hours. They travel in pairs. Ferry boat, one of the venerable Staten Island ferry boats, and South Ferry on our left. The ferry boat further west, one of the Ellis Island Statue of Liberty ferries. It's hot, I know. When you are a breath of the first bubble, 
of the Heaven Rocket Club tennis courts on our left. Look over, and at that time, you'll be looking down the canyon of Walter. You'll see the American flag flying in front of the stock exchange. It was earlier this morning, anyway. That being changed itself, and at the foot of Wall Street, the green building was over the first bubble on the left, in the front of the vessel, Wall Street. The Foley Square, the Nash Building, the Gold Sculptor, the Stone Municipal Building, Stanton White, Magnificent Building. Who oh, no, knows? I have no idea. Golden Landing on our right, or New York, this all year round. Bridge. And beautifully paneled inside, they even have a working fireplace. Many of the students from uh, some of the most famous conservatories in the world, which are right here in Manhattan, appear yeah. here. What? As well as celebrity uh, uh, artists like the one of the best Russians in town is still there. The the river, the river Cafe, right next to the river. And further north, the Williamsburg Bridge, 1903. Lead on ramp for the third bridge ahead of us is Delancey Street, the Hargo Lower Lake Side, which I discussed in the limited time I have earlier. Adding to that, Carter Hayes, George and I were very here in the Lower East Side, they were born in Brooklyn. Jerome Kern was born down here in the Lower East Side, a great American composer. River Cafe, the Union Center had its art a few years ago, and right? the Union Center on the Lower East Shore, and then Beauty, Garfield, the whole time you should look over that time. Right next to the Brooklyn Bridge. Well, Roger, you're in the better one, or if you want. Back into Manhattan here. Hold on, tsunami time. We're now looking back to Manhattan. You see the two bridges. The furthest one was farther away is the Manhattan. The one closer, I'm sorry, is the Brooklyn. The one closer is the Manhattan. And that's Brooklyn over there. So you just come around the tip of Manhattan. Never get a chance. Walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. The walk and it's wonderful. This is the Williamsburg Bridge. So as you come up from the lower part of Manhattan, you first look at Brooklyn, right next to it, and Manhattan, and the Williamsburg, and then behind me, which we haven't gone under yet, is the Queensbridge. This is the east side of Manhattan. Coming up next, United Nations. Turned out on the west side. The building right to the right, the Empire State Building, is NYU Haddock. Right of that is going to be the UN building. It's a beauty. That's in Parthens, Armenian Cathedral, and Rory. 30 visits in 2nd Avenue. Your left, now. That small island ahead of us in the middle of the East River across the UN, a memorial to who comes to the United Nations. United Nations headquarters begin their heavy lifting on the left side of the East River Bridge, and they continue to lift the flag of the United States. The United Nations headquarters begin the heavy lifting on the left side of the East River Bridge, and they continue to lift the flag of the United States. The United Nations headquarters begin the heavy lifting on the left side of the East River Bridge, and they continue to lift the flag of the United States. The United Nations headquarters begin the heavy lifting on the left side of the East River Bridge, and they continue to lift the flag of the United States. The United Nations headquarters begin the heavy lifting on the left side of the East River Bridge, and they continue to lift the flag of the United States. The United Nations headquarters begin the heavy lifting on the left side of the East River Bridge, and they continue to lift the flag of the United States. The United Nations headquarters begin the heavy lifting on the left side of the East River Bridge, and they continue to lift the flag of the United States. The United Nations headquarters begin the heavy lifting on the left side of the East River Bridge, and they continue to lift the flag of the United States. That monolith on the north side of the UN, left hand side, the new hotel, owned by Donald Trump. I don't know what the hell its name is, nor do I care, actually. But then I don't live in this neighborhood. Like Walter Conroy and another highly visible, highly articulate people who are so pissed off at the idea of this hotel. The guy is saying this black building is a hotel put up by Trump. 90 story hotel. Yeah, that's it. 
Looks like the model of the 2001, yes? It's not very complimentary of the truck, but I can understand why. The Twin Towers on 49th Street, the first co-op built in Evansville for Truman Capote, one of the first people to move in. He died here as a matter of fact. UN Plaza, Twin Towers on our left, co-ops. Now this tree-lined area, the East 49th Street, left-hand side, extending just from the same as Richard Rogers. Saying Richard Rogers. 52nd Street Berlin. is dominated by the tallest building Richard in this area. Very River House. That is now condominium, of course. What is it? That was home for Josh Logan and his wife for years. And River House figures probably in the background of Sidney Kingsley's award-winning play, Dead End. It was literally the first luxury building built of a notorious slum known simply as the East Side. You're looking at some of the most expensive real estate on our planet now. Beekman's Place on our left, Sutton Place to the north. The Queensborough 59th Street Bridge, 1913 on the north side. The uh, cables for the Roosevelt Island Aerial Tram. Large tanker ending on the East River on our left. This is the FTR drive. Empty, of course. Very Going deceptive with the loaders and the wisdom. <laughs> Roosevelt Island on our right, owned originally by the Blackwell family. Very interesting. Very prominent uh, for the Hamlet period. The city uh, prison. With one exception, the incarceration of Bay West. The river. Charming, bright lady. Had a funny way of talking <coughs> and tossing her body around named Mae West. When her play opened on Broadway in the 20s called Sex, What Else? I understand it was rated between scenes one and scenes two. All the actors rounded up, called off to the blues cow, and put on trial for obscenity, which itself is absurd. Anyway, during the trial, this actually happened. The judge noticed Miss West, Miss West's growing agitation in patience with the proceedings. And finally the judge stopped the proceedings entirely and addressed her with the following. Young woman, are you trying to show contempt for this court? Her answer was classic May West. Your Honor, I'm doing my best to conceal it. It showed up later in one of her marvelous movies called Brother the Chicken. Waste not plot not. This is the marvelous east side. Uh, architecture here and uh, everything going for it. Oddly enough, in this posh residential area, some of the best ethnic dining in New York, north of 72nd Street, along 1st and 2nd Avenues, the oldest Hungarian residents in town, Czechoslovak, uh, the East 80s, originally settled by uh, German immigrants, uh, the vestiges of uh, the German occupation, as it were, of uh, the upper East 80s, uh, Cafe Tiger, a few others, but mostly it's uh, become gentrified, a word I think it's even lower. That uh, ventilation we just, uh, ventilator we just passed on our right, Roosevelt Island, or our newest subway, the 63rd Street subway. Left-hand side, Rockefeller University. To the north, New York Hospital, Cornell Medical Center. Second largest medical center in town. We're coming up to East 72nd Street now. Water tunnel number three, a section that builds under the east overhead of us around 79th Street. New York City's water supply delivered for well over 100 years by two tunnels. Still in use of everyone living in New York City, water tunnel number three. Why? If one of our two tunnels were to dysfunction, one of them were to dysfunction, the city would be a disaster area within 24 hours. The only building here that isn't an apartment is this rather institutional looking bronze building at the left hand side of the fenced in area. That's a uh, very Tony school for young ladies called me Brearley. Graduates include uh, people like Jody Foster, Caroline Kennedy, Lizzie Gordon. Well, you get the idea. Anyway, Carl Schertz Park, the head of the island, named after a former Secretary of the Interior. That brown building across Carl Schertz Park on the left, East 86th Street. Years ago, Doctors Hospital, one of the most famous privately owned hospitals in New York. And one of the busiest and one of the best bars in Manhattan. I'm not kidding. The bar service, of course, for the patient, not the staff. Maybe it's the other way around. 
Anyway, it was always a pleasure visiting folks at Doctor's Hospital. It's the only hospital I've ever heard of that has liquor license revoked. I'm serious. Very serious. For a sanctuary. For a better view of Gracie Mansion, the mayor's residence, look back on your left. Our mayor, of course, Rudy Giuliani. Gracie Mansion occupied by the mayor. The main uh, section of the Triborough Bridge on our right-hand side, Almond 1964. Go on the Triborough's Bend, the Hellgate Freight Bridge. Park building in the back, brown is Mount Sinai Medical Center. Coming into the Chavez Mosque, which is uh, relatively new, uh, 97th and uh, 1st Avenue, coming up on our left-hand side. The main auditorium with its huge uh, copper stuff wall on top, and on the south side of the uh, minaret, the gold mosque. Harlem begins further north, to the west, world famous part of New York City, often referred to as the center for black culture here in town, but made famous because of many of the residents living in this community. Harlem. Writers, certainly, uh, like James Baldwin, novelist, playwright, essayist, Blanks of You, literary poet, playwright, author of the simple stories, which are marvelous. Author of one of my favorite poems, the opening line going, What happens to a dream deferred, wither and dry like a race in the sun? Uh, that, Blanks of You, yes. Also a noted uh, Broadway scenarist. Let's see, uh, the Cotton Club put Harlem on the map for all the wrong reasons. It was mob dominated and was segregated, of course. But it did act as a springboard for some of the greatest talents of our time. Uh, Lena Horn, Josephine Baker, Elizabeth Welch, the Nicholas Brothers, uh, famous bands like Duke County, Duke Fats Waller, Cab Calloway. Uh, the list virtually endless. Anyway, the Apollo, or rather the uh, uh, Cotton Club Longs have gone to the Apollo Theater. Still the same old location, still going strong. I'm happy to say I've been part of the street where a renaissance is taking place. Awesome. The restaurants popping up along the main drag. And some of these, I understand, are very good. Yeah, us. And the Apollo Theater. Yeah, us. A whole new thing happening here in Harlem now. Very interesting part of our news of his ill health uh, just broke. Red, uh, maybe the red white house. 
Yeah. 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 This is the red lighthouse, and it's right under the George Washington Bridge. We're going under the bridge right now. This is the George Washington Bridge. New Jersey is on the left. And that's the George Washington Bridge. This is the west side of Manhattan. Well, it's really Harlem up there. It's probably Harlem here. And this is Riverside Church to the right there, sticking up in Grants too. It's Riverside Church, tall building steeple. The left, to the left of that, short, is Grants too. That's Grants too. Riverside Church. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, you don't have to do that now. Soldiers and Sailors Monument. That has to be perfectly clear of people when we uh, tie up uh, the Circle on Pier, which will be in about 10 minutes. This is the New York ba Boat Basin, which is on the west side, 79th Street, right around that area. The largest boat basin around that area. Well, that would be 79th Street. Streets go east-west, avenues go north-south, so it's very easy to get around in New York City. First Avenue is over on the east side, 11th Avenue, well, on the west side. Tribeca is the triangle below the canal, the canal goes east-west. It's a fairly exclusive area in New York. A lot of restaurants. <coughs> now coming south on the Hudson River, and looking uh, south, southeast toward the Empire State Building. That's the West Side Highway right there.
are five marks that you have to go to the drive 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 to go to the Hello, my We're goodness. We have a nice boat ride. I hope. Who we just see here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ride the beast. Look at that. Look there. Ride the beast. That's apparently a real boat ride. The chief in the front. Lucky it's a nice day. Beautiful, isn't it? is in Chicago, the Sears Tower, the tallest buildings in the world are in uh, Kuala Lumpur, the Petrosian Towers, uh, which is remarkable, it's on White House Island, the middle of Staten Island. Uh, this 